Okay, let's get going. Thanks everyone for joining our webinar today. Good morning, good afternoon for some of those folks. Today we will be talking about increased share of wallet within your installed base. So moving on to the next slide, the speakers for this webinar are myself, John Duncan. I run sales and marketing for Endowance Solutions. Joining me is Mel Santos, the Regional Vice President of Sales of the West for Salesforce Pardot. Would you like to say hello, Mel? Good morning, everyone. Uh, we also have Kevin Chalk, a sales engineer for Salesforce and Pardot. Uh, Kevin. Good morning, everybody. And then we will have uh, a customer overview, Marcus Miller, the VP of Finance from Barnes Co. Unfortunately, Marcus will not be able to make the meeting today, so I will be covering his content for him. So um, thanks again, everyone, for joining, and we will get right into the agenda. So we will talk about, first off, the state of marketing automation. We will then move into the opportunities and challenges that we see in the manufacturing space. We will move into then the Endowance and Pardot joint solution, followed by a live demonstration of the solution that we're uh, discussing. And then we'll move into the customer success story of Barnes Co. Talk a little bit about Pardot and Endowance. And then how do you get there? Where do we go from there? So let's move it over to the next slide. And I would like to introduce Mel Santos. Thanks, John. Absolutely. So, um, and again, Mel Santos, I'm the regional uh, VP for uh, Pardot at Salesforce. And, you know, at Salesforce, helping customers, or this concept of helping customers increase wallet share has been an ongoing priority. And in talking with thousands of customers over the years who sell to business buyers, we hear one universal challenge uh, as it relates to marketing automation. And it's that the way buyers engage with companies and brands today is continually changing. In the past, there was a limited number of channels and touch points through which buyers could engage with marketing or sales, and we see a few of them here. But in this new age of digital marketing, we see a huge explosion of channels and tactics that buyers can engage with and be influenced by as they move towards making a purchase decision. And what's a little bit alarming is that our customers are also seeing a growing distrust of some of the traditional selling channels, and buyers are instead picking and choosing among these other points of engagement as they conduct their own research and drive their own decision-making process. So for companies that in particular have longer sales cycles that are shared by sales and marketing, this dynamic, these changes become a very highly complex web, and on top of that, it looks very different for every buyer. So what businesses are now tasked with is doing this, organizing this complex web of interaction points into a very seamless experience for their buyers. They're tasked with making sure that each one of these touch points is personalized, yet still driving buyers toward a sale. They're tasked with understanding the data behind each of these touch points and using that data to further tailor and improve their marketing and sales efforts. And above all, they're tasked with making sure the buyer's experience feels very smooth, very seamless, even though it's bouncing in between marketing and sales touch points and may take place over a long period of time. So we know the buying process is continually changing, and we know that in order to keep up with the changes, organizations need to adapt. Uh, and we know in general what, what this adaptation should look like. But the question is, you know, what does this process actually look like right now for our customers? And here's what we're hearing. We see marketing on their end trying to navigate their own complex, this, you know, complex web of channels, and they're investing in numerous tools to do so, right? Everything from email platforms to social media tools to content management systems. And then we see sales on the other side try to navigate their buyer's path to purchase, and sales have invested in CRMs in order to get a better understanding of customer data and to sell more effectively. But despite this investment in tools, we're seeing that we're still struggling on both sides of the equation. In fact, 
you know, the CMO, CMO Council recently revealed that only 14% of marketers feel like they're able to really personalize the entire buying journey. So this leaves 86% who still struggle to effectively nurture buyers along the path and really prepare their buyers for conversations with sales. And once the buyer does go over to sales, buyers really feel the impact from this lack of personalization that we're talking about. Only 20% only 20 of uh, B2B decision makers saw their sales rep as a helpful resource. And so this leaves 80% who failed to meet buyers' expectations. So with Pardot, Salesforce has introduced what we believe is the next generation of B2B marketing automation. And what Pardot is, is a, is a solution that empowers the marketer with best-in-class tools, and it extends, the, um, it extends marketing capabilities to the sales team. So going left to right in this image here, Pardot gives marketers the tools to execute very highly targeted and personalized campaigns and do this across every channel and identify the precise moment when buyers are ready to engage. So what Pardot then does is automatically transfers those uh, leads as warm sales leads into Salesforce. And here in the middle, what Pardot does is bridge the gap between sales and marketing by loading up the sales funnel with qualified leads and accompanying each of those leads with deep insights that help sales to effectively convert them into qualified pipe. Pardot also arms the sales reps with marketing approved tools to nurture sales relationships from the top of the funnel here all the way to the bottom to a closed deal. And finally on the right, Pardot can also take the dead leads and push them into nurturing campaigns that bring them back into the funnel where we see, or our customers see, a 3x conversion rate. In fact, according to a recent study by Serious Decisions, 80% of contacts who express an interest to buy today but don't actually will buy in the next 24 months. So we're effectively nurturing these prospective buyers and turning them from what were dead leads into a gold mine for our customers. So to summarize, you know, Pardot is one of the primary ways that Salesforce is helping customers to maximize wallet share um, and really react to this evolving business buyer. And so now what I'll do is hand off to, hand back to John who's going to talk about the specific challenges and opportunities that we see for manufacturers. Excellent. Thanks, Mel. Okay. So we will now talk about the business dilemma that we are seeing in the market today. We have been seeing many companies struggle with providing qualified leads, as well as measuring the results of their associated marketing campaigns. They don't have a strong grasp on their customer installed base and thus have a difficult time upselling and cross-selling their most important accounts which are their customers. As many of us know, the easiest people to sell to are your current customers. And additionally, for many organizations, the 80-20 rule applies in which 80% of your revenues come from 20% of your accounts or customers. For example, if you do not know that customers who buy widget A will purchase widget B in six months, but you don't have a handle on those customers. You're not going after that low hanging fruit and are thus leaving significant revenue on the table. However, integrating ERP to Salesforce is a challenge and can be very expensive if not done properly. Without the integration between ERP and Salesforce, data accuracy and quality and the overall lack of customer knowledge exists. So in terms of marketing automation solutions that will take your marketing campaigns, lead maturation, and pipeline building to the next level, where do you begin? And what plays best with Salesforce? So in a nutshell, companies are looking to access their data and work with their data very easily. So it moves into 
the order-based marketing for manufacturers. For many organizations, the system of record for customer data is their ERP solution on the left. Also, they leverage best of breed CRM from Salesforce to manage their opportunities, pipeline, marketing, and overall revenue strategies. Many organizations are turning to Parda to considerably enhance their marketing automation capabilities as Mel just described. But how do you bridge this gap between ERP and Salesforce and bring that accurate customer data over to Salesforce and Pardot? The answer is endowance. We have been providing leading integration solutions for over seven years between ERP and Salesforce. Now, you will be able to synchronize customer order data directly from ERP very easily and seamlessly right into Salesforce. Coupled with Pardot, you can now immediately launch install-based campaigns. These campaigns will enable you to effectively upsell and cross-sell your install base. This will not only increase your wallet share within those accounts, but will very importantly drive short and long-term campaigns that are driving immediate revenue and ultimately making your customers happier. So what are the combined business benefits of this overall solution I just described? As noted, you will be able to optimize marketing campaigns, targeting new offerings, add-ons, and upgrades to your most important accounts, your customers. You will have an end-to-end -end process to nurture and pass sales-ready leads. This will not only build your funnel, but also increase the velocity in which opportunities move from qualification to closure. You will now be able to leverage your existing ERP investment to market and grow your company pipeline. This increases the overall ROI of your ERP and CRM investments considerably. So further, with your emphasis on targeting the easiest companies to sell to, your current customers, you will see rapid time to value. And additionally, you will have a platform that can do significantly more. And so that leads me into the live demo. And I will turn it over to Kevin Chack, the sales engineer for Pardot. Kevin. Perfect. Thanks, John. So let me go ahead and share my screen here. Able to see my screen? There we go. All right, perfect. So thank you again, everybody, for joining today. I'm very excited to walk you through the demonstration. Um, my goal today really is to demonstrate how marketers can easily go into uh, Salesforce's B2B marketing automation solution and create highly targeted marketing campaigns based on the information that's recorded by Salesforce and your back-end back ERP solutions. And also show how sales can leverage the power of marketing automation to work more efficiently and help you close more deals in less time. And I'm going to walk you through uh, Pardot today from the lens of, of two different users, two different personas. And we're going to start with the marketing persona and we'll end up with the sales persona. So today I'm going to play the role of a marketing manager for Archetype Bicycle Company, which is one of the top three bicycle manufacturers in the United States. And right now, I'm running a campaign where I'm targeting shop owners who recently purchased a very specific bike model from our inventory. And the purpose of the campaign is to target these retail shop owners and entice them to stock their shelves with select accessories to complement their recent bike orders in an effort to limit the number of consumers turning to Amazon and other third-party retailers to make their purchases. So diving into the demonstration here, uh, as you can see, um, Pardot is just another tab that sits with inside the Salesforce ecosystem. And this is because Pardot is a platform solution, the most widely adopted marketing automation solution by Salesforce users for a reason, and it's because of that tight-knit integration. 
just as easily as we could access Pardot and another tab inside our Salesforce instance, we can also access it as a standalone app as well. And the first item that I'm going to walk you through today is building out a list. At the, at the foundation of any great campaign are highly targeted lists where you're grouping together a segment of individuals in your database. So navigating to the marketing tab here, we're going to jump into the segmentation section and we're going to build a list. And this list, again, is a list that's going to compose of different pieces of information. Uh, we're going to take into consideration job title. We're going to take into consideration geographic location. And we're also going to take into consideration the product that they previously purchased from our ERP solution, or that's recorded in our ERP solution, and the number of units ordered. And the beauty of designing lists inside Pardot is that you have the option to make these lists dynamic. Now, dynamic lists um, may be something that's new for some of the users on the webinar today. But a dynamic list is awesome in that it allows you to predefine a, a filter. So we're going to go in and set filters. And based on the filter criteria that we create here, people are automatically going to funnel onto this list if they match that criteria. And they'll funnel off if they fail to match it in the future. So really, we're creating a self-managed automated list to help our marketing organization save more time. So the first segmentation criteria I'm going to input here is somebody's job title. And again, we are looking for owners. The next piece of criteria we're going to factor in is geographic location. So maybe we're targeting um, bicycle retail owners uh, on the West Coast. So let's take into consideration their state. And finally, we're going to take into consideration back-end data that our ERP solution is providing. And that's the beauty of a platform, Pardot, uh, platform product like Pardot. We're going to be able to go in, and we're going to be able to take into consideration um, information that has been fed into Salesforce from our ERP solution. So we're going to take a look at custom order information. And the first piece of information here that we're going to leverage is the order ID number. So again, this is a very specific bike model that somebody's purchased. And last, we're going to target uh, all shop owners who have ordered um, greater than 50 units. We're going to go ahead and create this list. So again, the beauty of segmentation inside Pardot is that we do have access to all that backend data that our CRM houses to allow us to be more targeted in our different campaigns. Now, once we have a list built out, the next item that we want to cover is building out an email. So inside Pardot, the beauty here is that we provide your teams with pre-formatted templates to leverage. We have 40 out-of-the-box pre-formatted templates. Um, with different styling, different columns, varying banner widths. So there's really something in here for every type of campaign initiative that you're trying to run. And the beauty is that Pardot places heavy emphasis on clicks, not code. Even if you don't have any coding experience whatsoever, you're going to be able to design really beautiful email templates. And as we're seeing here, we have an email template designed to show our shop owners the hottest accessories that they should be stocking their shelves with here. And the beauty of our email builder is that it's simple. As a marketing manager, you can go in, and there are really three phases. We build, test, and we send the emails that we have here. And let's say we want to make some adjustments. Let's say we want to further personalize this email. Well, we can easily click into our content editor, and we can incorporate a variable tag. Now, a variable tag allows our team to dynamically pull in information from our CRM. And we're going to make this look a bit more personalized by incorporating somebody's first name. Now, let's say we're happy with the way this email looks. You can also see that we have an A-B test enabled to allow your team a greater flexibility in testing subject lines, testing the content that you have 
in the body of your message. When we jump into the actual testing phase, we have all the traditional testing methods that you're probably used to, but an added benefit is that we have an email rendering test. So your marketing organization spends a lot of time designing and crafting this marketing content. We want to ensure that it's going to render nicely when it actually goes out. And your marketing organization can do that with Pardot. And because we've provided your team access to responsive templates, we're able to see that this email is going to render really nicely on all sorts of devices and email clients. Now, finally, once we're done testing the email, we can jump into the sending phase. We're ready to deploy this campaign. From here, we can choose the list that we just created. Uh, we can also choose who the email looks like it's coming from. Maybe we want to test what the open rates are if this email were coming from a sales executive, the leader contact owner inside Salesforce. Or we just want to see what this email, um, how this email performs if it looks like it's coming from a general user. So again, at all points of the email campaign, we want to notify your sales team when engagement occurs. So an added benefit at the bottom here is a completion action. Let's say somebody goes in and they open our email. Well, we can just as easily notify our assigned user, and that would be the salesperson that the contact is assigned to inside Salesforce. So again, within the email builder, you're able to easily build, test, and deploy your campaigns in a really quick fashion without ever having to touch any lines of code. So now that we've actually built out an email, what I wanted to show you next was Engagement Studio. And an Engagement Studio is something that we unveiled about two months ago, and it's something that we're extremely excited about because it truly is the intelligence engine of our marketing automation solution. For those of you who aren't familiar with nurture campaigns, nurture campaigns allow your team to go in and automate a series of emails to go out. And not just automate a series of emails to go out, but to allow your sales team and your marketing organization to react accordingly based on the interaction that your prospects are taking with the messages that are being sent out. And with Engagement Studio, the beauty here is that we have a single canvas for you to build, test, and report on all of these nurture campaigns. At the top, we have the Start button. And from here, this is where we can choose the people whom we want to funnel onto our nurture program. So we already have our accessory upsell list included. Now, let's say we want to incorporate um, some steps here. Uh, obviously, with any great nurture campaign, we want to have an email go out. Well, by clicking on this addition sign, we now have access to different actions that we can take. So by simply clicking on that plus sign, I can go in and I can send an email. Top 20 accessories for retailers. And we're going to choose to send this immediately. Now, once that email goes out, we obviously want to listen for interaction. We want to take certain actions if there's positive engagement. And if there's negative engagement, maybe we want to send out other types of emails to hopefully uh, get our prospects to engage. So jumping in here, uh, there are a ton of different actions and or there are a ton of different um, prospect actions that Pardot can listen for. Everything from email link clicks to email opens to file downloads and form submissions. We're going to keep things simple here, and we're going to listen for an email open. So we're going to wait up to a maximum of five days. And you'll see that when we incorporate a trigger, this now splits into two unique tracks. If there's positive engagement and somebody does indeed open the email, they're going to funnel to the right side of this engagement program. And what we can do now, we can incorporate additional actions. Maybe we want to notify somebody's assigned user inside Salesforce when somebody opens that message. Additionally, maybe we want to create some sort of Salesforce follow-up task so that we're ensuring nothing slips through our, the cracks within our sales organization. So again, being a platform product, we can have a ton of these actions uh, directly create inside Salesforce when engagement occurs. And when we're done building these engagement programs, the beauty here is that we can test these campaigns to ensure that we've selected the right actions within the program. 
So we're able to simulate the hypothetical tracks that our prospects are running through when they take certain types of engagement. And finally, after we're done testing our engagement programs and we feel as though we've incorporated the right steps, we want to look at the analytics. We want to ensure that our engagement programs are performing as efficiently as possible and we're having the highest engagement possible. So all of these statistics around our programs feed in in real time. We're able to see um, the number of emails that have been sent, the open rates, the click-through rates, uh, the percent of the individuals in each step. So all in all, again, these programs allow you to send targeted emails based on real-time buyer behavior and critical qualifying values, providing a personalized and adaptive buying experience for your prospects. Now, what I want to cover next is the idea of a prospect profile. At the end of the day, at the end of each of the marketing campaigns that we're running are individuals. And this specific example that we're running you through today, um, we are targeting shop owners. And right now, we're taking a look at Dan Fitzgerald's prospect profile. The prospect's profile is vital to your organization because this provides your team with a 360-degree view into each lead and each customer that you interact with. We're able to see where Dan Fitzgerald came from. We're able to see their source campaign. We're able to see their conversion point. Most importantly, we're able to see their prospect activities on the right-hand side of this page. Prospect activities are crucial to both your marketing and sales organization because this provides us with a historical view into all the different types of engagement that Dan is taking with my marketing materials. Everything from website visits, web page views, to landing forms, uh, landing page submissions, to form submissions, to email clicks and opens, it's all being recorded in this prospect activity log. And you'll see that we're scoring all these interaction points. And that really plays into our lead qualification model. With Pardot, we're providing you with an out-of-the-box lead qualification model, where the score measures how interested a prospect is in your products and services based on their level of engagement. Thus, the more they interact with your marketing content, the higher the score is. The grade is the flip side of that. The grade measures how interested uh, is your team, is your company in a particular prospect? Do they fit certain parameters or profile characteristics that your ideal customers have? And we're able to take into consideration any piece of data that's most important to your organization. Now, all of this information is also going to be available for the sales user. So we're going to change gears here and now we're going to take off our marketing caps and put on our sales caps. And we're going to look at how your sales organization, how your sales team members can leverage the information that Pardot provides. So right now, we're in Dan Fitzgerald's corresponding lead record. And taking a look at this lead record, we're, we're probably used to, to seeing this view. Uh, we're able to see all the same data that was feeding into Pardot. But now, with Pardot, um, with Pardot uh, inside your Salesforce instance, your sales team has access to information such as the score, such as the grade, so they know immediately how qualified the leads are that they're working. Most importantly, the same prospect activities are available in the lead view. So the moment your sales account executive or your sales executive is assigned a new lead and they need to make that initial touch point, they need to make that first phone call, they need to send that first email, they're able to have the most relevant conversations possible because you have a historical view of how they've already engaged with the marketing team's content. And let's say hypothetically, I pick up the phone and Dan lets me know that budget's not gonna be there for another six to eight months in order to purchase more bicycles or purchase more units. Traditionally, as a sales user, I'm probably creating Salesforce tasks uh, to remind myself to follow up and stay top of mind. I'm probably setting up calendar reminders um, in my calendar. But with Pardot, you no longer have to do that. Your sales team can easily drop somebody into a top-of-mind nurture program, similar to the one that I showed you previously, um, to, again, stay top of mind. I no longer have to set up manual tasks. I no, have to, no longer have to set up manual calendar reminders. This is all taken care of for me by Pardot. 
Now, another piece of Pardot that I wanted to show you um, is Engage. And Engage is a way to foster a tighter relationship between marketing and sales because Engage allows your sales team to deploy marketing approved email templates within the sales view here. So they're almost like micro campaigns that your sales team is sending out. Uh, and, and the hypothetical example that I want to walk you through today, uh, Archetype Bicycles is coming out with a new product. Uh, we are coming out with the ALX 7000. And we are going in and we're targeting top bicycle shop owners in respective cities. We want to invite them to a launch party. So going into my contact list here, I have a view of the top 10 bike shop owners in San Francisco. We can see that they have fairly high Pardot scores and fairly high Pardot grades. These are top tier accounts. Well, going in, I can select all those individuals and I can send an email. And again, with the power of Engage, we now have access to marketing approved email templates. These are email templates that have been designed by my marketing team and made available to me as a sales user to send out. So going in, again, we have our, our email template here. Uh, we could go in and just as easily edit some of the content if we wanted to and drop in additional variable tags. Once we're happy with the way this looks, we can go in and send it out. And once this email has been deployed, we'll now have access to our own reports. As a sales user now, I'm acting as my own marketer. I can see my own metrics around these engaged campaigns. I can see the number of opens. I can see the number of clicks, how this is trending over a specific period of time. And most importantly, I'm able to receive real-time alerts the moment engagement occurs, and that is through engage alerts. Through this desktop application that's provided with engage, I'm able to see real-time notifications that pop up as desktop alerts in the right-hand side of my screen. Now going in, each of these individuals is a different customer that we're working with. And if we drill into these prospect cards, we can not only see engagement around email campaigns, but we're receiving real-time alerts around page visits, form submissions, any points of interaction with our marketing team's content, we will be able to receive real-time alerts and we'll be able to make actionable decisions um, based on the engagement that our prospects are taking with our marketing team's material. So again, hopefully today's demonstration was helpful. Um, Salesforce's B2B marketing automation platform is really like a Swiss Army knife for your marketing team. It allows them to easily target the right groups of people send them the most relevant content possible and automatically track various levels of engagement to arm your marketing and sales organization with the most up-to-date information possible so that they can close deals faster and work more efficiently. John, back to you. Beautiful. Thanks, Kevin. Okay. So now we will move on to the next part of um, our discussion, and we're going to move into our customer success story. We're going to talk about Barnesco. So as I mentioned, uh, Marcus Miller, the VP of Finance, um, could not make it today, so I will be covering the slides for him. So uh, again, Marcus is the VP at Barnesco who is intimately involved in the decision and rollout of our combined solution of the endowments integration technology of Pardot and of Salesforce. So this is a live user using this solution today. Barnesco is a wholly owned subsidiary of Kodiak Building Partners, which represents a family of building product distribution companies dedicated to providing products and services to local residential and commercial builders across the country. Barnesco fits into the construction supply division of Kodiak BP and distributes and manufactures many different types of concrete related materials and supplies to general and subcontractors in several different states. Barnesco's success and growth over four decades can be strongly attributed to taking their brand of products and services to localized markets with a relationship-driven sales style. Their focus has always been on providing their customers with the best solutions 
to meet their challenges on the job. Barnes Co.'s marketing goal is to complement this relationship, this relationship-driven sales model, with tools like Salesforce, Pardot, and the endowance integration technology solutions. This overall solution has helped gain net new business and to cultivate existing business by better lead management, realizing and tracking opportunities, and lead nurturing in a cost-effective and automated process. Previously, Barsco has tried several other marketing automation solutions where the result was less than desirable. Ease of use and their fundamental ability to measure the results of our activity were among the top issues. But rather than tell you what didn't work, that may be more productive to tell you what is working now with the tool set that Barnesco has in place today. A strong marketing automation platform has been key in revamping their marketing strategy. Using Salesforce itself is a great tool for any sales group. However, by working with Endowance, Barnesco has been able to further leverage their Salesforce investment by integrating their ERP sales data at a very granular level into Salesforce, which enables their sales and marketing teams to do some very high level data mining to cultivate opportunities that they wouldn't have been able to do or realize with other marketing automation solutions. After making the strategic decision to integrate their back office data with Salesforce and to implement Pardot, they can now share a wealth of information between their sales reps and marketing teams. Salesforce with the integrated data provides their sales reps with key customer related data that raises their level of customer service and combined with Pardot, and the endowance integration solution provides a valuable repository of customer and contact related data for multiple marketing campaigns to include who has purchased what product, when and how often, as well as what customer segment or profile that they fall into. So by using Salesforce together, with a high level of integration with their ERP, Barnesco has been able to achieve an alignment and focus of their lead generation and growth goals between the sales and marketing groups. With one source of data and one system in place to manage contacts, opportunities, bids, and product sales data, they have realized a 35% increase in the level of qualified leads, making the selling task much easier. Okay, so I'll, we'll now turn it back over to, um, um, to Mel, who will talk about Pardot um, uh, as well. So Mel? Thanks, John. Yeah, I think what we wanted to do now is kind of shift the focus of the conversation to hopefully you've seen a solution that is compelling and intriguing. And so we wanted to shift the conversation to how we get you there. And so we'll start by talking about a little bit about, uh, you know, your partners, Pardot and Endowance. I'll give you a bit of uh, background on Pardot and then hand over to John in a minute to give you an Endowance background and then we'll walk up, we'll talk about the proposed package uh, that we'll, that we'll uh, 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 announce here on this call. Um, so about Pardot, I, I thought it'd be really good to first talk about, to answer the, the million dollar question, is it pronounced Pardo or Pardot? Um, and, you know, fun fact, it's Pardot and uh, it actually is a Latvian word, the real word, that uh, is Latvian for to market or to sell. So. Fun fact for a Wednesday morning for you. Um, 
The other thing about Pardot is that it is uh, part of our integrated portfolio solutions uh, that we call our customer success platform. And so this is a platform that if you're familiar with it, allows our customers to service their customers across departments, across the entire customer life cycle, leveraging the same set of data, the same insights, and the same collaboration tools. So this is delivering our customers unparalleled value and really an, an unparalleled ownership experience, whether you own one part of the Salesforce portfolio or all of the solutions within the portfolio. Uh, and so as a result, Pardot for Salesforce customers is the most installed marketing automation solution out there. Another thing that's important to know is that this is not a new product per se. It's been in development for eight years. And so what we're delivering to the marketplace is a very robust marketing automation solution, yet it's designed to be used uh, by the business user, right? So as Kevin demonstrated, there's no code required. It's very intuitive, and we're seeing adoption rates from our business users go through the roof. The other benefits of a mature solution like Pardot is that it's backed by a robust and mature ecosystem of support resources, of third-party applications that you can find in our App Exchange, and partners like Endowance. Uh, the last thing I'll mention uh, before uh, handing back to John to talk about Endowance is that Dreamforce for Salesforce is next week. And I talk about the eight years of development behind Pardot. We have some very exciting uh, innovations uh, to announce around Pardot coming next week. So stay tuned. We're going to we're going to be taking what you've seen today to an entirely new level, and you'll learn about that next week. John, back to you. Very good. Thanks, Mel. Okay, who is Endowance? So we were born in the cloud in 2007 by former CRM experts. And we are entirely focused um, on this, in the CRM space with Salesforce. So a significant expertise, um, and we'll cover that in just a minute, uh, revolving around Salesforce. Our global headquarters is in the San Francisco Bay Area. And we do have a global presence that will enable you to have support across the globe for the multinationals that are out there. And one of the things that we take pride in is our overall customer experience. As you can see here, we have a 9.48 independent customer survey rating. Um, and so uh, this is an independent rating in which customers rate how we have performed in terms of our implementation services. Um, uh, based upon the needs that they originally articulated in the project. So as I've noted, we are a Salesforce certified partner, implementation partner. Since 2007, we've done over 300 Salesforce projects, and we have done specifically over 70 ERP to Salesforce integrations. So with this experience, um, suffice it to say we have seen a lot of different variations and a lot of different needs in terms of what data to synchronize and to what level. So we can apply that experience to your particular needs. And we've also applied that to the solutions that we've developed and we will talk about it right now. So what are we talking about? What is actually in this offering that we've described today and that what we've showed you as well? So first, the integration platform is a managed service, meaning it requires minimal IT investment, both in the short and long terms, much like Salesforce. It is an off-the-shelf integration platform, leveraging our significant integration expertise and technology platforms. With the offer that we're giving you today, we will integrate four objects out of the box between ERP and Salesforce. Customers, orders, order line items, 
and contacts. Further, if you, if you are in need of additional objects or even custom objects, those can be weaved into the solution set as well. Also included into this overall solution is Pardot Ultimate, as you've seen. And as Mel mentioned, it is an advanced and customizable marketing automation solution from Salesforce. We are a certified implementation of Pardot as well. Our services team will provide three campaigns with our initial implementation package, and more can be added based upon your needs. And with this package, you will be able to segment your order data within days, and that's the ultimate goal. So let's move on to, so what is this cost? Uh, we get this question quite a lot, and a lot of people feel that uh, based upon their previous research into doing integration, it could be quite expensive. So let's just cover the, that um, right now. So Pardot Ultimate is priced at $36,000 annually, a very, very wise investment. The integration platform product from Endowments is approximately 10,000 annually. This may change based upon the number of objects that you ultimately synchronize, as well as the number of endpoints. So if you have multiple ERP installations across the globe that you wanted to synchronize on the fly, then that is obviously a little bit more complex, but quite easily done with our integration platform. As many of you know, the integration platform at this price point of $10,000 is extremely aggressive. And so we are, and Downwards is offering this low price point for, for a very limited time. The one-time consulting services that you see down here for this complete solution that we described today starts at $10,000. This is a one-time investment, and like the other components, is aggressively priced for a limited time as well. Okay, so now you've seen, you've heard from us, you've seen the solution, um, you see the, the price points. What are the next steps? As Mo mentioned, Dreamforce is next week. We're going to be there. Obviously, Mel's going to be there and the rest of the Salesforce team. We would love to connect with you during Dreamforce. And if we do and you do go with this solution, we will take $1,500 off the services right off the top. So to register for some of our events, you can go to endowments.com slash Dreamforce 2016. It's right on our homepage. And we do have a couple of uh, mixers, we'd love to see you there to talk about the solution, whether or not it is applicable for you. Additional, additionally, we do have one-on-one -on -one discovery sessions at Dreamforce. If you're interested, send us an email at sales at endowments.com, or even better yet, just sign up for the events. Uh, the Pardot ROI calculator. Mel, do you want to talk about this a little bit? Sure. Thanks, John. Mm -hmm. So we've developed for our, our, our most of our customers um, after speaking with us are really interested in getting to the meat of understanding what the potential is of marketing automation for their business. And so we've made available this calculator that with a few basic inputs, you're able to get an order of magnitude, a sense of what the potential is for marketing automation in terms of increasing the top of funnel and increasing your execution and ability to close uh, those top of funnel leads. So we, we provided the link here, and again, this is a very uh, uh, quick and easy calculator that I, I would imagine you know takes about five minutes to complete, but it does set a very good expectation for what the potential is of marketing automation for your business. Excellent. Okay, let's move on to the question and answer session. And um, it looks like we have a question in. So uh, the question is, and I think this is uh, for Kevin or even you, Mel, um, there was a pop-up in the demo with the message, 150 email remaining, emails remaining in the engagement studio. Yeah, sure thing. 
Um, so the, the pop-up message that you saw there was for Engage. And Engage is the sales enablement tool that allows your sales team to send marketing approved content from Parda. Um, so there are limits to the number of emails that your sales team members can send out. Uh, and the purpose of that is to pro provide your marketing and sales teams with just control uh, over the, the number of messages that they're deploying so that your, your customers or your leads don't feel bombarded with too many messages at one time. And that does work on a sliding scale. So if you feel that your sales team needs uh, more emails that they can, uh, to, that they need more emails to send out, you can certainly slide that up. Um, or if you feel like 200 is too many and you need to slide that down to 50, you can certainly do that as well. So it provides you with flexibility. Yeah, I, I would just add to that that um, in addition to protecting your customers, I think another intention of those limits that marketing could set for sales is to give you the ability to also proactively protect your identity as a as an email sender, protect your brand. Fantastic. Okay, um, we have another question. Um, I already have Pardot. Can you integrate Duet or the, the endowment integration solutions into my current environment? So I can take that one. Yeah, well, we would have our consultants conduct a, conduct a discovery session to better understand the systems that you currently have and the environment that you work in. And so with this knowledge, we would be able to propose a plan to connect your Salesforce instance to our integration products and deliver the benefit of all this information to your part of implement application. So not a problem at all. <clears throat> okay. Um, we do have another uh, question for the Pardot team. Uh, what is the difference between Pardot and Marketing Cloud? Uh, that's a great question. I'll take that one. And for those who are not familiar with Marketing Cloud, Marketing Cloud is another uh, product within the Salesforce portfolio that addresses uh, marketing. That said, the we've the difference between Marketing Cloud and Pardot are, is really a matter of use case. So Pardot is intended as a marketing automation platform for businesses that sell to other businesses. Um, but when you, and, and what we, what's implied in that is that you are very interested in a, creating a very efficient lead process that ultimately passes to a sales rep. Um, and it, the, the other distinguishing, um, I would say, uh, use case or requirement for a business-to-business -business sale is typically uh, this is a longer and more complex sales cycle that requires marketing and sales to work hand-in-hand -hand, um, through the entire purchase process. And so for those, if, you know, if those are the needs, you are, you know, interested in ultimately passing leads to a sales team to then, you know, work and take, take across the finish line. And also, uh, you're supporting a longer sales cycle that requires this very coordinated dance between marketing and sales. This is where Pardot comes into play. Uh, and just a minute on the marketing cloud. Marketing cloud is, uh, is a marketing solution as well, but tends to find a home in uh, business to B2C use cases where the website does the majority of the selling, if you will, for our customers. Beautiful. Thanks, Mel. Yep. Okay, I think that's it for the questions. So we're right at the top of the hour, so we are going to wrap it up. So thanks again, everyone, for attending our webinar today. Um, as uh, we discussed, we are very much looking forward to hearing from you and working with you on this proposed solution. Um, so again, have a fantastic day, and we hope to speak to you soon. Goodbye.